Please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Hold right there, newcomer. I welcome you to Edessa, but before you enter, I must catalog your visit. Please answer the questions as truthfully as possible. It's imperative that our tallies be accurate. Now, what brings you to Edessa? Yes, well, at least you look more put together than some of the people that came here before you. Poor sods. With any luck, your errands go without incident. Now, where have you come to Edessa from? Alistar? Y you mean you've come from Formerus Hughes' laboratory? Yes, I, I see it now. They were wrong about your nose, but you match the description of the one I was to look out for. Uh, we can dispense with the remainder of my questions. You are free to enter Edessa. You will be lodged in the Sandstone Villa, temporarily. It's no trick, newcomer. I take my duties very seriously. But I think you are right to be suspicious. True, you have been saved from the squalid lodgings of the Hospitalis Quarters, but uh, Sandstone Villa is usually saved for a... a peculiar manner of guest. It is more than unusual for one of your kind to be lodged there in any event. Now here's your key. Welcome to Edessa. Yes, yes, go on. Yes? What do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures.
Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octian himself. That requires a confession. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. We have already discussed this. Nothing short of a confession would convict him. As such, Templar Octien will remain undisturbed in the Lavrarium. to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? Then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Livrarium. I suggest you go there. an unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. Did it? Here you stand, suspecting me of a great many crimes, yet unable to lift a finger. Tell me, who has the power? Or what? You'll slaughter me in a murderous rage? Typical. Your kind is as predictable as it is stupid. I'm afraid you'll find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. Attack me in this city, and I won't just have you clapped in irons. No, I'll hand you over to the scholars in the Basilica for research. A long career supporting vivification research has left me with certain advantages. You could say I'm more resilient than most of your enemies. The wise and the foolish both die. Is that justice? With the will of souls I can change that. I can choose who deserves life. To think that yous gave away such a gift to you. Well, we've seen how you wasted your life. Perhaps I'll give Intrinio your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. Of course. 
And it's such a pity you'll never find out.
Well, if setting fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. An ugly rendering of the truth. Did we not use each other? You needed Octien's information, and I needed him stripped of his power. I had to trust that you would do your part, and trust is not something one can always rely on. But I was rewarded for my faith handsomely. Now it's your turn. You have certainly earned it. Ventrinio Desolini. One name I never expected to be brought into this business. It seems he has escaped the gallows yet again. I believe your friend Scholar Hughes may be able to help. While you were here, my people found him salvaging the tomes Octien attempted to burn. Now you must excuse me. A Templar has fallen from power, and Odessa's political buzzards are circling. Salutations. You wish to speak? It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly, or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Oh, great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses, but only one item of true value. Octien's diary. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Cluricon. Yes, I should have known he'd be hidden behind enemy lines. Though with Mel Senshir victorious, he's in Alpha territory now. But when you reach him, be wary. His is a dangerous mind, and he may want to kill you the second time around if my suspicions are correct. But if you must go to Alabastra, then you must learn his secret. I only hope he's willing to share. Oh, I will. In fact, I believe I'll be staying in Odessa to offer what support I can. With Octian out of the way, the people will be needing a new Templar, after all.